and so on. Anybody want a short comment? Yeah, basically what we want to do, <clears throat> we want to become as biological as possible. And then some of these issues about the internet will disappear. I mean, uh, somebody recently, here's an interesting statistic. Somebody told me recently that in, the, in an average square inch of soil, there's 500 miles of mycelial fiber. 500 miles of mycelial fiber in every cubic inch of topsoil on this planet. Well, imagine if you could plug into that net. We don't have to lay copper or fiber optics. If you're subtle enough, the wires are already there. Yeah, what would... Well, when you take psilocybin, it's interesting that uh, many people report the onset of hallucination is always the onset of an, you see a white network against darkness. You actually see the mycelium and then shortly thereafter the visions. And, you know, what would we think of the internet if we didn't have to lay any wire or transmit anything through the air, but we could just plug in to the wiring already in the ground? That may sound like pie in the sky, but it's not that. Uh, That's what well, he wanted to transmit electricity through the ground. Uh, I don't think he realized that there were biological wires to do it because of the fineness of these things. But I think, you know, commandeering, co-opting, modeling, and copying nature is what it's all about. This is what alchemy understood. Nature is the great teacher. Nature has had, you know, five billion years to go down the, the worthless pathways and the toxic pathways and has always returned to a certain uh, Tao of um, an economy of construction and architecture and energy that is more elegant than anything we can possibly imagine. So, you know, a, a truly human future lies in integrating, studying, imitating, and becoming part of uh, the natural world without leaving any of our so-called technology or database behind. Well, that's it for this evening. Let's take a little bit of a look in the soil, see what we can find. This food web in here has got just more diversity than almost any place else on Earth. Soil is where diversity really lies. We look above ground and we say, ooh, look at all the plant species right. here. And we go, oh, there's 10, 15 different plants in here. High diversity uh, doesn't have a candle to what's here in the soil. We're looking at, oh, probably about 100 miles of fungi per gram of soil, per teaspoon of soil in here. When we look at one teaspoon of soil, you know, and so it's like that much, we're looking at 40,000 species of bacteria. We're looking at probably 20,000 species of fungi in that one. These are species, not species, individuals. Not individuals. Because now when we go to individuals, we're looking at a thousand million individual bacteria split amongst 40,000 species. So it's a huge diversity that I'm holding right there that's in the staggering. palm of my hand. I would have to say, that's a living organism. Yeah. That's alive. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a community. You can sort of think of this as New York City.